Hello. <laughs> uh, so as you can guess by the title of this video, this is uh, gonna be something different than you're used to uh, from my channel, something different than a well-produced video. So just to bring you up to speed, so essentially, you know, over the past few months, uh, InMotion has reached out to myself and some other key people to help them basically bring the V12 from where it was to a place that is acceptable to the people like us who actually ride these things hard every day in our respective cities. I will say, as far as that's going, you know, taking the V12 from their iteration one to where it is now, is a thousand percent better. So if they released the wheel today, I would say it would be very satisfactory for about 95% of people. I'm very happy with where it has come from to where it is now. Now also, you know, if a lot of you have been following sort of the EUC news, you probably know there's been some leaks. <laughs> some of you out there have even made leak videos about it, which has been quite entertaining to watch. And, you know, there's just been a lot of just opinions out there, which is totally fine. I mean, it's exciting when new stuff's coming out. The problem is that the information leaking out puts a lot of us in a bit of a weird bind who have been sort of sworn to secrecy, so to speak, and trying to respect the wishes of our, you know, agreements or contracts w with certain companies to make sure that this is, you know, still withheld as like a closely guarded secret to help them keep developing the wheel. But I think after last night's leak, which if you didn't know, there was another one, uh, I watched it basically happen in real time at like 3 a.m. I was working um, on my YouTube channel and I saw it all happen and was like, well, it's toothpaste out of the bottle now, so we can't really stop it. And that leak really, for me, was a bit of a nail in the coffin as far as the first leak was really bad. Completely an avoidable leak, I think. I think it was, maybe I'm hurting myself here, but in motion messed up. They should not have filed with the FCC in such a way, either too early like they did, because they're still not, look, we don't have the V12 yet. So they filed too early or they didn't find a way, I don't know the logistics, but they didn't find a way to ensure that those photos and specs and things get leaked out. I mean, the whole manual got leaked. Lots of like very <laughs> ugly photos got leaked. It was a very awful leak, but there were still some things about it that I was excited had not actually leaked out. Things under the hood, things people didn't know about. Some of them, still not all of them I guess, but I'd say 90% of the information out there now, you all know almost everything. You might be asking, why do, why do we care? Why, is, why are you making this video? After all the leaks that have happened for this in motion wheel, it's like hard for me to understand why they're still waiting for this keynote. So they're having their iteration of like a launch event, which they kind of did last year. But at that event is when they like talk about what it's gonna look like and ride like and feel like and all the specs and all that. We know all of that at this point. So, you know, write me in the comments down below, should they still have this launch event? My proposal to them after that leak, cause I had to be the one to inform them was, listen, I get you wanna like not launch until the product is ready. Behind the scenes, just so you know, like in depth, here's the real behind the scenes. The product is ready as far as like what it's doing. They don't have a ton made yet and they're still waiting to sort of, I guess they, this past week they got all the parts in to create their pre-production model and then they're gonna test that um, over the next week or so or whatever it is. And if that's successful, then they'll deem that ready for launch. So they're doing all of the right things, but the problem is now, you've had all these crazy leaks and things, so under normal circumstances, a launch event to showcase all the new things would be very useful, it would be very apropos when you're releasing a new wheel. But it's water under the bridge now. We know it all, basically. Now obviously, none of you have seen it written, really. So my proposal to them was this. And if you like what I'm about to say here, please share this video around the internet and bug in motion and show them this video. And go ahead and hit that like button just so we know who here is on the same page with me, but I think the launch event is a bit silly at this point. The best way to launch their product would be to allow me to drop all the videos I've created, and I've created quite a few of them. I still have one more larger one that isn't ready yet. It's not online yet, but all the others are online and ready to go. Um, that larger one, you guys will just have to wait a little bit for it. Um, it's sort of like a mini doc about this process behind the scenes, so maybe this portion will make its way in there, but in general, all the other videos are ready to go. I think that would be a better way to sort of launch the product at this point. And I think we're all kind of okay with waiting. I mean, a lot of the reason why it's been delayed, I think is just like 
pipeline issues with, I think COVID still hasn't really gone away. I think it's still backed up everything in China to where they were waiting on like, like one key component. So they couldn't even build some of these pre-productions. So I think their intentions were good, but they just don't know how to roll with the punches, right? Like they don't know how to adapt to the new scenario. So yeah, my proposal, let me drop my videos right away ASAP. That way they can sort of get on with everyone keeping the hype alive and understanding what this whole wheel is about. And that way it's okay, look, everyone's on the same page. We know you're gonna have to wait a little bit, but it's just the nature of the beast, you know? Their goal was to have these videos drop at the end of this month. And then I think by like June 1st or something like that, we'd have wheels getting in the hands of the first batch of people. But the launch event is a little bit silly. So I don't really know why we're waiting for this. So if you think my proposal is a good idea, then we should just release all my videos right now so you guys can all sink your teeth in and see what's going on with this wheel just to see, hey, is this something really awesome we should be into? I think you should. Um, or is it just a dud and I'm just gonna skip it and bypass it, whatever. This is a great way to do that. Let's just throw it all out there. There's, to be honest, if you ask me, there'd be nothing better for them to show a lot of these videos at their launch event to coincide with what they were announcing. But as I've said a million times now, beating a dead horse, we sort of know all the key vital specs. So now would be the time, I think, to sort of showcase what the wheel is all about. But I think it would make a lot of sense right now to go ahead and do this. So let me know in the comments down below if you agree. If you do agree, please share this around the internet and definitely go to the Emotion page and share it over there and tell them, hey, let Mickey release the videos. For what it's worth, the wheel's great. I think the V12 is awesome. I think a lot of you will love it. I don't think there's too many downsides to it, but we're just at the mercy of some silly things that have gone on here. Well, I would give nothing more in this moment to just like outro this by just showing a cool few clips of me riding the V12 around, but I still am trying to be nice to them and like hold to the agreement we have, but it just sort of seems superfluous. Am I right about that? It just, I'm, I'm mad behind the scenes here. Like quite, all day I've been pretty mad. So I just felt like this is probably something I should make a video about and just kind of like connect with you guys and let you know what's been going on. So yeah. So once again, if you like the video, hit the like button, share it around the internet, and uh, hopefully we can convince InMotion to let me release those videos ASAP. So we'll call it, uh, Maybe like free the videos or something like that. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep riding, never stop. And uh, free my videos from YouTube jail.